Have you ever wondered about the future of artificial intelligence in drug development and discovery? Dive deep with Marco Schmidt, the Chief Scientific Officer of Bio takes.ai. Probably we are living in fantastic times now because mm -hmm. everybody can now do fantastic research together. With, with an illustrious academic background, accolades from Cambridge and a mission to revolutionize drug development, Marco brings a wealth of knowledge to the table. In this episode, we will explore DeepMind's AlphaFold, artificial intelligence in drug discovery, and the challenges and triumphs of modern-day bioinformatics. Don't miss out on this conversation and click play now. GlaxoSmithKline. So they looked at all successful and unsuccessful drugs in the last 30, 40 years, and they really could show that there's, there's evidence. And when you have genetic evidence, when you have genetic support, then it's more likely, I think it's two times more likely that there is efficacy and efficacy is then shown in the first, also in, uh, in, in, the, in the clinical trial with patients. And, but the, the point already is that it was just what I call explanatory statistics. So you look at data and um, you explain the data. Uh, here at Biotech AI, the idea was then when I met my co-founder Jörn, he's a computer linguist, so I'm the biochemist, he's a computer linguist, was the idea to use predictive statistics, what is now called machine learning or artificial intelligence. So just another kind of thinking. So we are looking, we try to find now the patterns in these genetic, in the genetic evidence to use this for prediction whether um, a drug and a drug target combination will be successful in a clinical mm -hmm. type for a specific disease or not. And uh, yeah, that was the idea in 2015, 2016. Uh, we had then here a so-called so startup grant at the University of Potsdam. Um, after this, we then joined, um, and that was, I really mean, have to say, we joined Startup Bootcamp Digital Health Berlin, so an accelerator program here. And then we also founded then Biotech AI, our company. And uh, yeah, now we're working more than four years on this. And Congratulations. Uh, or five years, sorry, five years. So um, you are over the worst phase of a startup. So the first yeah. three years are crucial and then comes the big success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually. So and we turned also from the business model from a service provider into now um, our own products. So we have now three products in clinical development and one clinical trial wow. running. Yeah. How much money did you raise so far out of curiosity if it's not confidential? It, it's, it's not confidential. So it's actually not so much as three million. Mm -hmm. And the rest is then uh, was revenue, revenue based. It's very efficient. I had two recent podcasts uh, where I was more focusing on uh, mm -hmm. entrepreneurship, on investing. Uh, and they're also doing uh, research and development in artificial intelligence. Let's stay in this podcast episode on the artificial mm -hmm. intelligence side. And let's start with some basic uh, terms and with some uh, basic mm -hmm. definitions. I know from the last year that many retail investors, business angels, got curious with the successes of CRISPR and Intelia yeah. to invest in life science projects. Um, but it's not the most easiest field. I mean, let's start with the first term that you mentioned, drug development and drug discovery. When I entered the life science industry in 2006 and I told people that I'm developing drugs, they looked at me and said, what? Are you doing something illegal? <laughs> and uh, to avoid uh, in the times of cancel culture that this podcast yeah. episode is taken down, let's start with defining drug development and drug discovery in the context of this episode. What is your definition of drug discovery and drug development? So so first of all, I sort of make it clear, so this is not illegal. <laughs> uh, I know that these, these two words, because when you're German speaking, is then there's often a misunderstanding. So here I would like to focus, we are, we are working on medications. Mm -hmm. So we are working um, on uh, different kinds of um, chemical or biological entities that can modulate some stuff in your body in order to treat or cure a disease. Uh, then the next, what you, what you ask, uh, uh, drug discovery and drug development. So normally discovery means that you are in the early phase of your development. Um, discovery means then that uh, you uh, 
you still think about the disease, what are the mechanisms of the disease, how you can treat the disease. And then you start um, developing ligands, try to um, test the ligands in in vitro models, so in disease models very easily. And that's why it's there's still this discovery thing because it's like um, the land is not completely, it's still unknown and you are the first entering it. Development is a little bit more when you have already proven that your legal works and you want to go into the normal way how to prove it. And you can say there are, I call it now five phases. The first is so-called preclinical phase where you check your ligand um, in in vitro models that it's safe. The next one is the so-called phase one clinical trial. And here it's still looking at safety. That wraps up our insightful chat with Marco Schmidt. If you found value in this episode, do us a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe for more and share this with your network. Your support not only helps us grow, but also attracts top tier speakers to deliver even more valuable content to you. And a big shout out to our sponsors who make this show possible. Don't forget to check them out. The links in the description below. Until next time and keep investing in knowledge.